Hey, what's going on everyone? Today's May the 10th, 2023. Let's talk about Bitcoin real quick because we may be in the initial stages of seeing a Bitcoin crash. Why do I say that? Because I want you all to see right now on this chart that we were looking for Bitcoin's price to go higher. I did an update video on May the 4th. Take a look. This is where the price in Bitcoin was trading at that particular moment in time. And as you can tell from the price action since then, we're not getting any strength. The buyers are not showing up into the market in Bitcoin. So now the question is, should we get rid of this price prediction of looking for Bitcoin to go higher or should we prepare ourselves for Bitcoin's price to go lower? You guys can see here that I have $27,000 as the ultimate area of support that we want to see the buyers hold the market. Will they do it? Let's take a look at the market in Bitcoin on a different time frame to figure it out. Now, here it is on the two day chart for Bitcoin. You see that? That two day price bar is creating an indicator of weakness. Puts it go down. It's telling us that the overall market is weak. There's more selling going on than there are buyers. That takes us into a peculiar situation about wanting the buyers to hold $27,000. Here's Bitcoin on the three day. You guys can see another indication of weakness even on the three day chart, which also imposes that $27,000 may not hold for supporting Bitcoin. Now check this out though. If we were to take this arrow a little bit over to the left, you see this up fake and push go down bar? Yeah, that's another indication of weakness, but the market didn't fall below $27,000. That's why I really want to make you understand that $27,000 is gonna be important. We need to see the buyers hold that. We're going to test it again. The market is going to test $27,000 again in Bitcoin. Here it is on the five day. Okay, so in the next 13 hours and 16 minutes, if the market in Bitcoin closes down here on the low end of this five day price bar, we have to prepare ourselves to see price in Bitcoin break $27,000 to the downside. I'm just saying, I just want you all to be prepared for it because I say that because over the last previous two Friday price bars, we've definitely seen the buyers come into the market, right? So over the last 10 days, which is not inclusive of this current five day, the market really tried to move Bitcoin higher. And for us to see the market really encompass coming all the way back down, what it worked so hard for the prior 10 days tells you that something is not right. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I think that Bitcoin is going to test that $27,000 price, which is like $578 away from where the current last trade was. But pay attention. The five weekly chart also tells us that the market is bullish. We don't want to see in the next 11 days and 14 hours price come all the way back down to where it started. Because that would emphatically be a massive signal that Bitcoin is weak. Okay. So we're here now. We're at the doorstep of making a decision as to whether or not Bitcoin is going to continue to trend up or go down. So what should we do? Should we continue to go forward with the market and expect the Bitcoin to go higher or should we look for price to go down? I still see some weakness even on the hourly chart I see weakness so we're going to get rid of this price prediction here into the market in Bitcoin so getting out of this prediction now we will be down five percent and that is only if you didn't take any profit on the 30th and as well as on the 6th of May as price targets of three and a quarter we'll be down 5.15 percent now Let's go ahead and look for price in Bitcoin to go lower. That's going to be our price prediction. Uh, hopefully I reiterated how important uh, $27,000 is going to be. So that's going to be our first target. $27,000 is 2.07% right there around $26,995. My second target is going to be here at $26,500. 
that's 3.85 percent move to the downside in bitcoin and if we don't hold 26,500 again we're going to come all the way back down to this uh support line around 23 i mean 25,350 so that would be our third target that's 8.05 percent 25,350 dollars okay 30,000 dollars is going to be our ultimate area of resistance meaning we're going to continue to look for price having a greater probability of going lower than going up as long as it trades bitcoin's price trades below 30,000 okay so that is it give me your thoughts make sure you maintain a profitability and as always trade different